Fate has a funny way of playing out, even when it is least expected. That was made clear to Anthony Schnur Jr. on April 7, 2021. He and his girlfriend Cindy Dennison were planning for a day of crappie fishing on Table Rock Lake when suddenly he got a call. I met a guy 30 years ago. Uh, we kind of talked and exchanged number, become friends. He got a call uh, 5.30 in the morning. It was his wife and she told me that my good buddy had passed away. And I said, I'm sorry to hear that. I asked her if there's anything I need to do. And she says, yeah, I want you to go out on Table Rock. I want you guys to catch a fish and your buddy's name. With heavy hearts, they headed out. Now with a new sense of mission, to catch a fish honoring his dear friend. Uh, we just spent years and years and countless hours up here fishing and stuff. And um, kind of heart wrenching sometimes, you know, he's don't expect it. Though rigged for crappie, the plan quickly changed when Cindy caught sight of a monster gar. Um, they make the slurping sound, so, and I heard it out of the side of my head. And we were both sitting up front, and we automatically looked at the graph right away, and I'm like, that's a gar, it's huge. I'll be darned if we didn't get on that fish, and we kept, we kept after him. We, we chased him for a little bit, seen him on the graph, lost him for a little bit, chased him, finally pitched out 50 feet of water. He took it, and the fight was on. And Longnose gar are native to Missouri. They're native to the White River, which is part of what Table Rock was impounded on. Not a lot of people target them, but those that do can obviously have some pretty good success. They put on a really good fight. They're a strong fish. They're probably the apex predator in Table Rock. That thing's going crazy, going wild, peeling line. We're running down with the trolling motor. Um, he, he got us wrapped up in the trolling motor, and Cindy, she reached down in one fluid motion, grabbed that trolling motor and popped that line loose. Otherwise, I thought that it was game over. The next thing, that thing surfaced and thought, holy cow. And I really didn't think we'd get him in, but um, we, she got him lassoed, got him pulled in, and we got to talking, that might be a record. I got a hold of Shane Bush and said we had to bring it there and weigh it. And Oh, they were so excited, you know, and for somebody like him who and her who target those fish, you know, to be able to catch a record was really something special. You know, they were, they were very excited and it was the biggest gar that any of us had ever seen. A long nose gar. He weighed in at 32 pounds and 10 ounces, beating the existing state record by over five pounds. A new Missouri state record for long nose gar. This happens on the day of my buddy's passing. Well, he set the record and God talked to me that day.